Howdy Tinker Nerds and welcome to the comment show for my DIY fidget LED display. Okay, everyone stop fidgeting. Much better. Let's see what you guys had to say. Guessing we'll get a combined comment show for part one and two, or did the negative reaction kill off the part one comment show? Let's talk about that. I'm not gonna lie, there was a much higher negative reaction to the fidget spinner video than I anticipated. I knew the fidget spinners had a lot of haters, but I thought that most people would see past the fidget spinner to the actual project. Seeing a cool scientific and learning opportunity instead of just seeing this. But then again, I have a tendency to overestimate the generosity of the internet. So that coupled with the volatile nature of fads in general, I decided to go ahead and put out both videos and then do a comment show over them. That probably won't be what I do for future projects, but we'll see. Tinker Nut is a brony confirmed? Really? Come on, man. Of course I'm a brony. I do kickboxing with a guy who looks just like you. Plot twist, it is me. <gasps> Interesting, if you increase the size and put it on a bike wheel, it would be amazing to ride the bike in the nighttime. Yeah, that's another really good use for POV displays that you can use this as a starting platform for. You could add that circuit to a fan. It would actually be useful. It would keep you cooler and it would display something. Also a really good idea. You guys are nailing this. Instead of using all those if statements, you could use a case statement. I've posted my code on GitHub and it's far from perfect and really buggy, but you can adjust it and edit it and hopefully make it more streamlined. Colin Pierce has taken advantage of that and made a much simpler version of the code. Could you use an accelerometer to measure the speed of the spinner and then adapt the speed based on that? That could probably work. Accelerometers are also pretty small and I'm pretty sure that there's several libraries out there to make it work with the ATtiny85. Despite the less than favorable reviews based on the fidget spinner, the feedback for the new video style as well as the new sponsor has actually been pretty good. So thanks for that. That being said, the last animated video I did did not fare as well. So I've made the tough decision of dropping the animated video series, at least for these project builds. I also have some news that may affect my video output for the later half of the year. In a couple of months, I am going to be a father. And along with that excitement comes responsibilities and lack of sleep, and I may not be able to put out as many videos because of that. The hope is that I can stockpile several different videos and projects that I could continue releasing throughout the later half of the year. But so far, that's not going too well. So I just wanted to let you guys know up front that if you see a lack of video post, that's what's going on. All right, guys, thanks so much for all the comments, and I'll see you all next time. Your system needs a lot more room for your OS to work properly. That's a problem that needs to be fixed. Do I have to come over there and fix it? Stop judging me, Goodbean. God.